Almost every drop of water you use at home, school, or work drains to the San Francisco Bay. Our bay is the largest estuary on the West Coast. It's a place that serves as nursery and home to wildlife, including endangered species and millions of birds using the Pacific Flyway. Like a natural sponge, the Baylands ecosystem reduces flooding and is responsible for a wonderful Mediterranean climate. Before modern wastewater treatment and Baylands conservation efforts, garbage and dirty water from homes and industry were released directly into the bay. The pollution and decaying waste made it difficult for the bay to sustain life at the water's edge. But in 1970, federal law was changed to require communities to protect local waterways by cleaning and treating wastewater before releasing it. Now, to protect the bay, the City of Palo Alto Regional Water Quality Control Plant treats up to 20 million gallons of wastewater each day, collected from the homes, businesses, and industrial facilities located throughout its six city service area. Wastewater travels by gravity through the sanitary sewer system to the plant, which then uses a series of physical and biological processes to remove large and small pollutants. The wastewater undergoes preliminary, primary, secondary, and tertiary treatment before it's released to the bay. In the first step, preliminary treatment, large solid materials are removed as the wastewater passes through bar screens. Next, during primary treatment, the water is pumped into tanks where smaller solids settle to the bottom or float to the top, where they are collected for later processing. You've seen how water in a river or stream bubbles over rocks. The next step, called secondary treatment, mimics this process of aerating water to provide oxygen for the bacteria which eat biological wastes. Wastewater is sprayed through large plastic plates and trickling filters that are covered with a slimy layer of microorganisms, including bacteria, protozoans, and fungi. Like us, these microorganisms need to eat, except their food is human waste, traveling from our homes, schools, and work. From there, wastewater moves into aeration tanks, where ammonia, another component of human waste, is consumed by different microorganisms. In some cases, primary and secondary treatment clean wastewater enough so that it can be returned to nature. But because South San Francisco Bay is a delicate and fragile ecosystem, the Regional Water Quality Control Plant adds one more step, called tertiary treatment, to filter more pollutants. During tertiary treatment, tiny particles of waste pass through fine sand and coal filters, imitating how nature cleans water when it passes through soil. Then, ultraviolet light is used to kill bacteria and viruses without using chemicals. This UV light destroys the microorganisms or damages their DNA so that they cannot reproduce. Finally, about 22 hours after it first enters the plant, wastewater is clean enough to return to the bay. Most of the water is discharged into the Palo Alto Baylands, but about one million gallons each day is also released to Renzel Marsh, a reconstructed wetland east of the Bayshore Freeway. It takes the water about 12 days to pass through the marsh before entering Matadero Creek, where it travels into the bay. Back at the plant, the leftover solids, called sludge, are dewatered, ground up, and incinerated to become ash before it is sent to a landfill. Soon, incineration will be replaced with a more environmentally friendly process that converts sludge to energy and a reusable fertilizer or land cover. High quality recycled water is another byproduct of the regional water quality control plant. One million gallons of recycled water are generated each day. Recycled water is a safe, reliable, and valuable alternative source of water to use on landscaping, in fountains, and for industry. Using recycled water for these purposes conserves drinking water, and its use will only become more valuable as our population increases and adjusts to climate change. The services of the Regional Water Quality Control Plant are critical to keeping San Francisco Bay healthy. Because of wastewater treatment processes throughout our region, pollution in the bay has decreased substantially in the last 50 years, and the health of the bay has improved. But the plant can't remove all types of pollutants. Although it was designed to remove biological wastes, many of the chemical compounds sometimes flush down sinks or toilets cannot be fully removed. So we need your help. Remember, only water, human waste, and toilet paper should be flushed. Hazardous wastes such as medications, paints, chemicals, pesticides, and fertilizers should be brought to a household hazardous waste facility. Pollution from runoff traveling into storm drains is also a challenge. 
Rain and irrigation carry pesticides, oil, and other pollutants from yards and streets straight into storm drains. From there, the water goes directly to creeks and the bay with no treatment at all. To prevent storm water pollution, never dump or wash any pollutant into a storm drain. Because home pesticide use is the number one source of pesticide pollution in our creeks and bay, don't use pesticides outside your home. When servicing your car, make sure to avoid water pollution. Recycle motor oil and radiator fluid. Use a commercial car wash which recycles dirty wash water and keeps it out of storm drains. If you wash your own car, keep soapy water, even when using biodegradable soap, away from storm drains. Use a cloth and a bucket of water, not a hose. Dispose of wash water in a landscaped or dirt area. Pet waste can carry diseases and causes problems when it gets into a storm drain and ends up in a creek where wildlife lives. Pick up after your pet. Never drain pools or fountains to storm drains where pool chemicals can kill insects and fish. If you have a swimming pool or a hot tub that needs draining, be sure the water is empty to your property sewer cleanup. Understanding the value of wastewater treatment and the importance of preventing stormwater pollution is key to protecting the bay. Remember to do your part to help preserve this spectacular resource we all enjoy.